Hello guys, welcome you all to the 10th session of the Pandas data frame. And uh, I have created this datent.ip and binb file and imported these two libraries. So let's run this and okay, so let's select the uh, kernel and then import this, uh, read this nutrition data set. Now I'm, since I'm working on this data set, so I required this data set in every session. So last, what are the last thing that we have studied in the uh, ninth session? Basically, we have studied how to extract the data from the data frame using lock and I lock in I lock. So we have studied about first we have studied about, about what is lock and I lock, and then we have with the help of this nutrition data set we have extracted uh, the data with the help of lock and I lock. So now let's understand in this session. We will be continuing with the previous uh, previous uh, concepts that we have studied the lock and I lock. So, so what is it? One thing that is worth mentioning is that both lock and I lock indexers support boolean mask. Let me write it here. Both lock and I lock supports boolean mask. Boolean masks masks for data frame for data frame and this syntax is identical to what we saw for series except that it now extends over both the axes in the series only because it is a one dimensional data structure so it extends only in one direction in one axis but now since we are talking about the data frame it extends over both the axis but the concept wise everything is same so let's look at this remember one thing that when we use boolean mask for series we had to provide a list of booleans or a sequence of booleans that was exactly equal to the length of the series now that we are working with the data frame, so we have to provide two lists of booleans. We have to provide here two lists of booleans, one that is exactly matching in length, that is to the row axis, the and other that has the same length as the column axis. For example, uh, in order to access every other column and every other row we could say something like this let me write if i want to access every other row and every other column we could say something like this nutrition dot i lock i lock and inside this what i need to do i have to give a list of So let's write one list here. I'm writing one list comprehension here. Inside this list, I'm basically I'm writing a list comprehension for uh, accessing each one of the uh, so uh, every uh, other that is every alternate uh, um, uh, row value. I'm using this list comprehension for how so how I will write it. True if I modulo 2 that means divided by 2 gives a remainder of 0 else false for i in range what is my range value with respect to the uh, rows what should be the value it should be 8 7 8 9 this is my row Thereafter, I will give co comma here because I have to pass the two list. This is my first list and this belongs to rows. And I am I have given the same number of uh, value as it is in the row and should not come here. Now, second thing is the column. So same, in the same way, I want to access every other column that is every alternate column so for that i am writing the same thing 
true if i percentage 2 for i in range let's say range here the range should be 75 this is this is my code so if i run this code let's see what i'm getting was why it is uh, something what's wrong with this code can i see boolean index is wrong length 75 instead of 76 is it so i percentage equal to okay this should be zero na this should be zero okay what's wrong again with this code so it should here 76 should come instead of this 75 fine so i have accessed every alternate value inside my column now can you see my row size is 4953 and my column size is 38 columns so let's do one thing i am saving this thing inside a variable new nutrition inside this variable let's save it new underscore n u t r and just paste it i'm pasting this code and let's run it so that new nutrition is printed here now let's see one thing if i am doing one simple thing if i am writing here nutrition nutrition dot save what shall be my value if i will write nutrition dot save nutrition dot save what should be my value 8789 comma 75 76 this is the shape of this is my shape nutrition dot shape if i will write simply this what does it means that means if i say here x this represents basically x this is my row and this is my column so basically x rows if you write and y columns it simply means this but instead of this if i will write and you tr new nutrition sorry new nutrition dot save what shall i get let me see i am getting what i am getting here i am basically getting x by 2 rows and y by 2 columns this is what i am getting basically you can say i am getting x y by my total number of elements is x y by 4 if you multiply x by 2 into x by y by 4 it will get me give me x y by 4 element earlier i was having x into y element fine now let's do one thing i am going to explain you certain things for that let me access one thing so you have understood this how to write the boolean how to apply the boolean mask on uh, using i lock or e even you can use lock to apply the boolean mask so i have you use the i lock here to apply the boolean mask sorry boolean mask you can apply using this i lock so you have done it understood it now let me access this uh, first 10 data so how i can access this first 10 data nutrition dot uh, head and let's uh, access the first 10 rows so i am getting this first 10 rows now let's say let's understand this thing very clearly if let's say i want to access any value inside this any <coughs> any data inside this data frame uh, let's say i want to access this this value this 290 which is what which is my vegetarian fillets and this calorie column so if i want to access this row value vegetarian fillet and this column value calories 
so where is this calorie calorie this 290 data if i want to access this data so this data has a row whose name is vegetarian fillets and has a column whose uh, which is calories so this 290 is having a row value basically what row values it is having this is having a row values 9 and what is the column value it is having it is having the column value 0 1 2 now let's do one thing uh, what i have done in the uh, if you can see let's do one thing let's uh, uh, make this first uh, do one thing first make this column uh, this name as my index so what i have to do i have to write the set index method and i have to do the in place is equal to true that we have studied in this uh, uh, previous sessions so just let's do one thing just let's copy the code from there so that i don't need to write it again and just let me copy it from the uh, this previous ninth session let's do one thing let's copy this code set index name in place is equal to true fine let's do this thing so i am setting this index is equal to true and making the in place is equal to true. now if i apply the same thing here if i apply the same thing here if now i will access now can you see i am getting uh, this thing So now my this name has become is my row. This has become the row uh, and row access and all these are column. So what I was talking about, I was talking about I want to access this 290. So what is the way to access this from the knowledge that we have gained till now? So we have to do nutrition dot. Let's say I want to access. I uh, this with the help of integer indexing. So what I will do, I will do I lock, I lock, and then we have to give it the values. Since this is having this is this belongs to the ninth row, vegetarian fillet. We have just seen that. So we have to write nine, comma, and this calories belongs to this is my zero row. This is my first row. Sorry, first column, zero column, uh, zeroth column, then this is my first column if I will do the indexing. So I have to write here 9, comma 1. If I will just access this, I will get my value 290 that I want to access. So I can access any particular value with this thing. So this was great. But for single value extraction, however, so I have extracted one single value. So I can extract any single value with the help of this method, this ILOG thing. But what I want to tell you, for single value extraction, Pandas has some dedicated attributes, which are lot more performant and quicker. And I would definitely use those for single value extraction. So let's understand how this works. So let me first read this nutrition dot head if i will read what i will get this thing so i am getting five rows and 75 columns fine for single value access this is one thing that i am going to study right now let's say what i am going to study right now single value value Access a double c e double access with dot at and and dot iat iat. Let's understand this one. So earlier we have seen I have uh, accessed using the i lock. Similarly, we can access any single value using the lock also dot lock. So if we are using the lock attributes, so what we have to write? Uh, let me see. If let's say this is not pickens 
and this is let's say calories. So if I want to access let's say this six nine one, so what I have to give? I have to give in in the row position. I have to supply this, and in the column position, I have to supply this calorie. So in the row axis, if I will give this, and in the column axis, if I will give calorie, I will get this two six nine one. So let's do it. Let's do it. Here I am giving this thing. Let's paste this value and let's write here this thing and then comma let's write calorie let's copy calories from here just copy this and paste it here and uh, run this code i am getting 691 i am getting this 691 so this thing is clear now let's come to our main point what I want to say. Similarly, <clears throat> you can use this for this same thing. If you want to access the same 691 using iLock, what you will do for the same thing? If I want to access 691 using iLock, what I will do? I will give the integer position of the row position and the column position. So what is the integer position, uh, row position? 0 and 1. And this is also 0 and 1. So basically you have to give one and one. That, that, that is the thing that you are going to do. Now, instead of that, what I will do. So let me first do it like this. Then I will explain you. Nutrition dot I lock, I lock. And let's write one comma one. Right. If I will write this, I will get this value six nine. So, so what I am actually doing earlier, I was doing a multiple uh, value extraction, but this time with the help of this lock and I lock, I am doing this single value extraction from any point. I am using this thing. This is called single value extraction. Now, pandas offer two very highly efficient alternatives, which is called dot at and dot iat which is just like lock and I lock attributes, which are indexing, which are also indexing attributes. This dot at and dot iat are also basically indexing attributes. So, for example, if you want to access this nut pecans calories, which you know that it is having the value 691, you can also access this with the help of this attribute. Instead of this log, you can access it with the help of dot at. Instead of this, if you will write dot at, nutrition dot at, and this, if you will run this, you will get the same value. Can you see? And instead of this i log, you can use i at. I at. If you will do this i at, you will get the same value. Can you see? You are getting the same value. So this I, I, AT and IAT is you is also used for is can can only be used for single value extraction. Now let me explain you one thing. So why would we ever consider using this AT and IAT when this lock and I lock dot I lock supports this exact syntax and functionality. This is very funny. One thing that is doing the exact same thing, why I need to do the same thing using this IAT and AT. So the reason has to do with exactly the fact that think of this dot AT and dot IAT as highly specialized. Think of this as very highly specialized. Let me explain you this thing. Let me open you my notebook first. Okay. So think of this AT and IT as highly, highly specialized. See here. Nice. Let's find. This AT 
and this iat has a single purpose and that is to extract or select a single value extract or select select a single value a single value value from a data frame from a data frame df means data frame from a data frame because they only do this one single thing because their purpose is to extract only one single value and they have only one function so they manage to do it very quickly really quickly so lock and i lock lock and i lock on the other hand have some overhead because they first have to determine what syntax applies they have to figure out whether the users are use uh, are trying to index using boolean boolean slices or maybe single indices or whatever so because of this flexibility in syntax that they offer this dot at and dot iat offer their performance is much higher than lock and i lock or you can say their uh, the performance of dot at and iat is much higher than the performance of lock and i lock because they are this dot at and dot iat are more specialized they do their job lot more quickly they do their job very quickly very quickly fine so to do the comparison we will use a something let me erase this and for doing the comparison we will use a line magic from ipython to time many many executions of log base extraction and uh, then compare those to extracting with the at indexer from this what we have studied so for doing this there is one function let me write the code there is one called time t i m e time i t it so it is going to give me the time taken by this particular uh, operations how much time it gets to perform this particular operations that is good so let's write here uh, first let me copy it it would be better to copy this let's copy this copy and then paste it here paste it here now let's run this then you will understand this let's run this first so when i am running this it is showing that it is taking 3.17 microsecond plus minus this nanosecond per loop this is for one loop standard is seven runs itna loops each whatever so let's just focus here 3.17 microsecond fine so this lock is doing three uh, is uh, taking 3.17 microseconds to perform this operation now let's do one thing let's do the same thing using dot at instead of this lock let's use dot at here if you will use dot at and let's run it let's see how much time it will give me so if you will see this this is taking 3.17 microsecond but this is taking 1.47 microsecond first thing is that this is taking almost half matlab this this time is almost less than the half of this time that it is taking to perform the same operation second thing you can notice here one 10 raised to the power five loop 
loops each is taking here. But here, how much loop is each is taking? It is taking 10 raised to the power 6 loops. So, by this loop, performing this loop is taking 1.47 microseconds. <laughs> Whether performing the less number of loops is taking more time here. Almost the double the time taken. So, this is something which is taking the less amount of time. So you can say the time complexity, if you know the time complexity, is much, is very, uh, this is this is much more efficient than using uh, this IT, dot IT is much more efficient than dot log while we are doing a single value extraction. And there are many ways of doing this. For example, importing the timing module from Python, but the advantage of using this IPython magic function like we are doing it here is that we don't need to configure the number of runs or other parameters because the inline magic will do that for us automatically. For example, it chooses to run big C. You can see it chooses to run this many uh, much of loops, 10 to the power 5 or you one uh, lakh loops this chooses to uh, run for 1 million loops it it is doing on its assessment on its own so obviously there are very few differences we are seeing here right there are very few differences we are seeing right here these are in microseconds but when you start with let's say massive data sets and more complicated algorithm this difference could add up to something substantial. So it's really good to be aware of this. So, so what we have done here today. So we have basically studied this dot at and dot iat. Fine. So this is all for the today's session. In the next session, we will move ahead and we will see something more and something uh, interesting. That's all for the today. Let me uh, push this code to GitHub so that so at and iat completed completed or middle value in extraction extraction. Commit it. Yes. Same changes. Okay. Fine. That's all for the day, guys. If you guys are having any doubts, you can definitely put it in the comment section. And if you want to attend my free live session, you can go to the Telegram channel and subscribe the channel. Uh, you will get the link of my live sessions free of cost because whatever session I'm conducting, it's absolutely free of cost. And since these are the free courses, if you know your friends who are interested in learning these things, you can definitely recommend them. So that's all. Thanks. Thanks, guys. See you in the next session with the next topic. Thanks for coming. Keep learning. Keep smiling.